One of the biggest surprises for me was that being happy is a choice. You could be happy, you could be sad, you could be angry, you could be disgusted, you can be contemptuous. Hey everybody, I'm Giovanna Vidal. Yes, I am the number one best-selling author of Teen Anxiety No More. And I'm so excited to come to you today with this new video about how you can choose happy. Yes, it's a choice. All right. Let's get back to the video. Hi there, welcome back. I am so excited for this video because I get to share with you the joy of being happy. Yes, you can actually choose to be happy. When I was studying emotions as an actor, one of the biggest surprises for me was that being happy is a choice. You could be happy, you could be sad, you could be angry, you could be disgusted, you can be contemptuous. These are some of the seven universal emotions that anywhere on the planet, we read them and perhaps speak them in the same way. So as an actor, I had to study emotions so that I could understand what my character was feeling, what I was feeling, and if it wasn't in alignment, get in alignment so that I could feel what the character needed to feel in the scene. Yeah, it's really confusing, but it's amazing. And that's why we love being actors, right? So one of the most surprising things is that happy is a choice. So the way we are created, we can express or feel an assortment of different emotions, right? And the interesting part is that we can choose another emotion if we're feeling one that we don't want to feel. Have you ever done that before? Where you feel like really like angry and you're like, oh, and you're like, okay, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna let it go. I am going to try to look at the silver lining and I'm going to choose to be happy. I know I've had to do that a lot. <laughs> I used to be a very angry chick. I used to have like the whole New York try to be like what, right? Kind of attitude towards everyone. And now in hindsight, I'm utterly embarrassed at how much I chose to be angry and I wanted people to see me angry. And it was almost like I wanted to like out anger other people, especially on the road. I had really bad road rage. <laughs> In my 20s, I was awful on the road, right? So how rude of me that I wanted other people to see me angry and know I was angry. I wanted to shift the room negatively, purposely. That's really obnoxious. I now know, and I'm, again, uber embarrassed about it. But at the time, I didn't know, and perhaps some of you don't know right now. It's a very easy misuse of your energy and your internal emotions that are just like sometimes going crazy, especially in your teens and 20s when your hormones are like all wackadoodle and you're like, what is this? What's happening? Oh my God, what is happening? and everything seems like the end of the world. Well, let me tell you, it's not the end of the world because if it was, more of us would know about it and we would be doing something about it. Chances are we're just overreacting. And I'm not knocking you because I've done it. I just <laughs> confessed to how often I used to do it. But I just want to share with you and show you that there's a different way, a much better, cooler, gentler way of being in life. And so it's really cool when you can show up to anywhere, show up in a room and the attention be directed at you because you're producing this like high vibe, positive energy in the room. I promise you people would much prefer be around that than the angry chick or dude. So like, you know what I'm talking about, right? The, 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 the people who like always are like looking for drama or stirring drama, hello. I was not a drama stirrer. I was just angry chick. <laughs> I'm not a fan of drama, right? There are people who like bask in it and love it and thrive in it and want more of it. And they like, that's how rumors start. That's how mean malicious acts are thrust upon us perhaps because people just want to like live in that drama let's not be that person my younglings and we must not give in 
please don't be that person i beg of you i promise you you will get so much more with honey than with vinegar <laughs> that's an actual saying for some of you around the world who perhaps don't know that saying in the u.s we say you can get more honey a bee gets more honey with a honey can get more bee okay i'm obviously not good at sayings we're gonna put the actual saying so you know what it is so i don't confuse you all all my beautiful international younglings have never heard this but it's like you get more bees with honey than vinegar why was that so difficult but why so yes besides my constant attempt in the past to try to live and and spew my anger i have since turned that corner and i'm hoping you choose to do the same today and going forward and choose to be happy choose to look at the positive things in life despite how negative it can be right i think on this channel if you've been following me here for a while you've seen some negative things happen and perhaps how i've shown up in a more positive light that has lightened and diffused the situation so those are the sorts of things i'm talking about if you get angry i'm not saying you're never gonna get angry perhaps instead of like yelling at everyone in the room maybe take out your journal and write it out and you can be angry in your journal and just be like oh i hated that this happened this sucks but then you feel better and then when you come out of your room, out of your journal, you can be just kinder and be like, okay, there's a lesson in this today. I'm gonna learn the lesson. I'm gonna stay open to learning the lesson. That's another way where you can stay positive and, and, and appear to be more happy, even when perhaps sometimes, you know, some challenges are really happening in the backside, in the, in the behind the scenes, right? So I want you to welcome your emotions and be okay with all of the emotions. I'm not saying hide them and I'm not saying, you know, squish them down and don't cry. And that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you're feeling all these perhaps difficult to process emotions, find the silver lining, find the lesson in it, find um, a way to like put on your rosy glasses and, and look at the positive in things so that you don't go down the rabbit hole, right? So that you don't fester in the anger and in the frustration so that you can come up for air quicker, sooner and with less stress and struggle. So that is what I'm asking for you to do, my younglings, is to find the happy, focus on the joy, and if something should happen that doesn't make you happy, find a way to release it and let it go and don't impose it on others. I promise you, I promise you, it's taken me so many years to learn that. I promise you life is so much easier, funner, better, greater, grander when you live like this, meaning seeking, looking, cherishing, and basking in the joy and in the happy. So my loves, I hope you got something out of this video. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so, it's free. And um, you'll get notified when I post another video. So I can't wait to be back with you all. And till next time, keep watching other videos on my channel. I got lots of them for you. And I'll be coming back to you soon. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that. Comment. Big love. Bye for now. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So keep watching.